As we continue to keep looking at our actuators, let's take a look at a telescoping cylinder that is double acting. So we know that this is a double acting telescoping cylinder because it has two work ports here at the bottom. This cylinder was custom made for a training aid, but the basic premise or the operating principle behind it is going to be the same. So when we look to extend the cylinder, what we'll look to do is send through our work port off our directional control valve, hydraulic oil in, and as it's going to fill up this cavity, it's going to come all the way through the center, go through the center bore, act on this surface area, come through this center bore, and act on this major surface area here. We can see from the lip seals right here that that's where we're going to be sealing the high pressure oil. So any leakage would come up around, get behind this lip and push against this outer wall to seal it. Because this is acting just like two cylinders in parallel, the cylinder with the larger surface area will move first. The pressure times surface area equals force, and so the force will be carried or the force will be greatest on this larger diameter section of our telescoping cylinder. So as the pressure builds, this end will start to extend. And it will extend. This one's a little bit stiffer than like it to be. Need some lubrication on there. So as that extends, it will continue to extend until the cylinder, the piston, bottoms out against the cylinder head right here. When that happens, the pressure will increase and the surface area right here will be enough with the pressure increase to lift the load that will be at the end of the cylinder. And so then when we hit the end of the first stage, that's when the second stage will extend. And that second stage will extend until it bottoms out as well. And then pressure below will increase until we hit system relief pressure. When we send pressure, so on a dump box, on a form of a dump truck, if our dump body goes over center, then what's really important is that we're able to send pressure in and be able to force the cylinder to retract. Otherwise, an over center dump body would stay in that position if we were just relying on gravity. And so then this cylinder here is able to send oil in from the other work port of our cylinder, of our directional control valve, come in, and then operate through this hole right here. There's a hole in the cylinder wall right here that allows the oil pressure to come in and then get between the cylinder head and the piston itself. As it does that, it's going to create enough pressure to pull this second stage back until it makes contact with the bottom of the first stage. And at that point, it will have both gravity and hydraulic force that we be able to retract the telescoping cylinder all the way back. So in this cylinder, what we see is the lip seals in both directions so that it's able to supply pressure on either side of the piston. And then we see a bearing right here, a wear band that actually acts as, it's a Teflon ring that acts as a bearing to support the piston in the bore of the cylinder to allow the piston to move up and down without metal on metal scrubbing happening right there. And so we can see that again on the second stage piston, that wear band right here and our pressure seals going in either direction. On our cylinder head, we can see that the cylinder head is screwed onto the cylinder wall, onto the cylinder tube, and we will run lip seals or O-ring seals. Sometimes it's an O-ring with a backing ring right here, a Teflon backing ring to prevent blowouts, but it's screwed down, and then that is what's creating our enclosed cylinder then.